Hello everybody, this is Ice, and welcome back to another video. Now today, first of all, I'd just like to apologize for not uploading anything in the past few weeks. I've been pretty busy working on this thing in most of my free time, and it's come out pretty good. Now what I do have for you today is another kind of big project, which is a working graphing calculator, a basic one but a working graphing calculator inside of Minecraft. Now, you could do your algebra with this, I guess. It's not particularly fast or particularly compact in the back when we take a look, but it's still pretty cool. It only, also, it will only graph linear equations, which means you can't have exponents, you can't have trig functions, you can't have anything really interesting. Only a variable multiplied by something and just a floating term. Very simple, but it works quite well. And of course, it will graph straight lines. Another problem with this is that you can't have negative numbers or fractions anywhere in here, but that's all right. What does work is that we can change these two values from 0 to 9, and that's pretty cool. So let's have a look and do a basic problem. Let's say we wanted to do y equals, I don't know, 4x plus 2. So we'd come over here to this side and press the 4 button, and this will change to a 4. And then we'll come over here to this side, which is our floating term, and hit 2. As you can see, this has now been entered into the system. y equals 4x plus 2. It's written down there. Now we can come over here and we have a few switches. This one will reset the equation to y equals x, or y equals 1x plus 0. This one is kind of an advanced function, which we'll talk about in a moment. This one will clear the current equation off the screen. And this one will actually graph your line. So, let's just go and graph this by hitting Execute. And now that's going into the system, and we should see our graph begin to appear. Now, you will notice that nothing has appeared. It's not actually that slow. It just takes a long time to update. If I flew right at the screen right now, they would be on to show a bit quicker. But as you can see, even as it is, we can see that this line has been graphed. It starts up at 2 and goes up by 4 each time, creating a nice little line. So that's pretty cool. Now, this is the manual clear button, which will just clear everything off the screen. This switch, well, basically by default, before you execute, then this line will be erased, then it will make a new one. If this switch is down, then it will not erase this line, so you can graph a kind of more than one line at once. So now let's gra just graph y equals 2x plus 1. So this is the floating term. This is 2 over here. And as you can see, this gives us y equals 2x plus 1. And we'll graph this on the same plane as our initial line. So if we hit execute, we can come over here and see that it begins to graph. That's pretty cool. And we can just kind of wait for it to graph. This is The clock is currently set to, I think, 14 ticks, which is pretty fast. Basically, it means it will graph a pixel every second and a half, which is all right. I mean, it could be better. It could be a lot better, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with how this thing turned out. Now, if it's really derping out, then we can kind of fly up to the screen, update some of the pixels. But as you can see, we have now graphed both of these lines, and now we see this. Pretty cool. So now you're probably thinking, well, I've seen what it can do. I've seen some of the redstone to get these numbers into the system. But what does it actually look like in the back? Well, I can show you. Let's take a quick look around, shall we? bit complicated. First of all, back here we've got the screen and all the wires that lead into the screen. Now down here, right underneath this screen memory here, we have basically this is the busing that will take our numbers and convert them to seven segment numbers which are displayed as the equation. Now the x, y equals sign and plus sign will never change, so those don't have anything else to them. Up here, we have decoders that go into the screen. Now, these will these are just part of the screen that makes sure that the grapher knows where to put each pixel. 
And the final and most important part is right here. This is the actual graphing hardware. It uses an adder and a register down here in order to just kind of graph. Now how this works is that first it will just start off by setting y to the floating term and then for in each tick it will add um, uh, the coefficient to the main it will add the coefficient to y and then plot that. Down here we also have a binary counter which counts for x so it will go for every x value. There's also logic in here to turn it off and stop it once either X or Y has overflowed or reached the top or side of the screen. That's some pretty complicated stuff, but it is pretty neat. You can do your algebra with it. And that's about that. There's not much else to say about this thing. It's a bit more complicated than I made it out to be there, but hopefully you enjoy it. There will be a world download and a schematic in the description below. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe if that's your thing. That would be great. I haven't done many videos in a while, but hopefully I can do more now. They don't have a huge project like this on my hands. But anyway, that's about that. Hope you enjoyed, and, all, and as always, bye now.